the scope. So, here we are in the kitchen brewing kombucha. This little beverage here. Kombucha is made from tea, primarily, that has been fermented. So sweet tea fermented with one of these scary things called a SCOBY. I just got my SCOBY in the mail from Amazon. I ordered it from these guys, Joshua Tree Kombucha. Thank you, Joshua Tree Kombucha, for providing me with this lovely, ugly pellet of yeast and bacteria. SCOBY, S-C-O-B-Y, stands for Symbiotic Culture of Bacteria and Yeast. And it is what brings life and meaning to the world of kombucha. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to boil about a gallon of water, actually about three quarters of a gallon of water, which I'm going to boil it. I'm going to add some tea to it. Um, I think about 20 grams total. I'm going to do, it's my first recipe. I don't know what ratios to use, but they say to use green tea and or black tea. So I'm going to do an equal ratio of both and just see how that turns out. Um, got some golden monkey black tea. Never tasted it, but smells dope. Do 10 grams of this. I've got a couple green teas. I'll have another black tea also. Yunnan golden. Hmm. You know what? Forget the golden monkey. I'm going to use Yunnan golden. It smells better. Use 10 grams Yunnan golden. And which green tea should I use? This smells alright. Gyokuro Imperial or Emperor's Cloud Mist. Hmm. I'm gonna go with the Cloud Mist. Clouds and Mist. Emperor's Clouds and Mist. Okay. So one gallon batch. So I've got my one gallon jar over here. It's got a solution of cleaner in it right now. So I'm disinfecting that. It looks like my water's starting to boil. Yep. Okay, so I read online that if you use tap water, it's best to let it boil for like a good 10 minutes um, to boil out any impurities, any fluorides, chlorine, I might be in there, any microbes I might be living. So we'll leave that little uncovered and let it boil till about 740. So we'll do 10 grams of green tea, 10 grams of black tea. Weigh that out. This bowl. Voila. Turn on our scale. Black tea. So 10 grams. Nine. 10 grams. No, 11 grams, whatever. 10 grams of black tea. 10 grams of green tea. So for records, this is Yunnan Golden and Emperor's Clouds and Mists. We've got the 20 grams here, green tea. Okay. 21 grams total. And we've got a nice little muslin bag here that I can put the tea in so I won't have to strain this thing out later. So fill up the muslin bag with tea. Voila, there's your little tea bag. There's some sweet, sweet kombucha. This water's so hot, there's no way to Afraid to drop it all in there because I don't want to contaminate it, but the water is literally just boiling, so. Oh, I got a little 
flakes of crap in there. Disinfected tongs. Which is in fact use these tongs to get off the crap that comes in. Sugar time. Two twenty five grams. Sugar, a whole mug full. One. It's almost been a four minutes of steeping the tea. I need to remember to get the muslin bag. This next time I do this, it makes life way much easier. I was gonna have to strain it through a mesh strainer. Squeeze it out. Sugar. Like that. Oh yeah, that's sweet. Hmm. Some sweet tea. It's got quite a nice color to it actually. It's dark, darker than I expected. Looks like a standard black tea. Listen to me say standard. Like I know the standard tea. Yeah, good stuff. Mm. I'll make some good booch. Boochie booch. Boochie booch, as my friend and former roommate Brett used to say. Talking about kombucha, that boochie booch. Miss that man. Living in China. Haven't talked to him in months. But that's how it goes. There's a lot of floaties in there. I think they came from the bag that I put the tea in. Or maybe the tea residuals. I don't know. I'm just gonna not worry about it. Because I don't feel like straining this shit. <laughs> Alright, add remaining water. Should be as cold as possible. This is where I, instead of adding water, I'm going to add ice. This is a trick I learned from brewing beer. Quickly, so you can add your biologics. You use ice. So we gotta fill this sucker up to the four liter mark. This is for my hand. Ooh, it's soapy. You know what? I'm gonna use my hand. I'm gonna use. Shirts. It's getting hot in here. Okay, I think the booch is, or the tea rather, is now hot enough. Um, let's get some boiling water in this jug now. This is just to rinse this jug out. It's already been disinfected. I want to rinse out all that soapy water that was in here. So kind of warm up the vessel to might make the home a little nicer for the scoby scope. Mm. All right, well that does this thing. Oh no, it's gonna go back up. Um, <laughs> put it up here. I don't know what to do. I'm trying to multitask here. I don't think I need this anymore. We're too hot now. It's all right. I think it still have some leeway to add some more ice. Always use protection. Rinsed out our gallon jar. Okay, so we'll spill this up. Sure. 
Bob's out of there. Dude, we're much more clothes are left behind. And now I've got a whole batch of sweet tea that I can enjoy. Just gotta cool off in the fridge. The scope. It's just a soft, gooey pellet of bacteria and yeast. These bottles came with it. They're meant for oh, kombucha so brewing. And then you just put it in a dark place for about a week. And then you'll have to Actually, no, then you have to bottle it. And then you have to 